Good morning. Tuesday morning. Another beautiful day. What are you going to do with yours? Today's your day. Hmm. I have this thing that's sitting on me. It kind of set on me all yesterday. The topic of spiritual awakening. I sent out a little video. It took me a while to, to upload yesterday. But there's more that I had to share. There's a lot more on that topic. And I know not everyone is there or interested in that. And not everyone's going through that. But I have found for me, it's a process. And so that's what I would like to talk or share this morning about the spiritual awakening and how it's, it's a process. Now, believe me when I sit and say to you now that you'll have moments where you think you're about to lose your mind. All of your emotions come to the forefront. Everything inside you seems to almost crumble. And all that is, is the old wanting, is the old breaking away. Even now as I'm sharing just this portion, I'm feeling emotionally moved because I know the effects that it had on me have lingered. And I know it's a process and it's something that we have to stay with because there's once you begin, once this process takes hold of you, to turn back, you just find yourself fighting, fighting, fighting you. And this is where a lot of things pop up. The ego pops in and throws doubt, questions everything, where inside you know, you know what you have to do. But there is the struggle of letting go of the things that we've learned, the things that we've trained ourselves to do. The process is, is that for me, it took, it took, I felt the onslaught for years. I, the, the beginning process, the beginning of the, the awakening, I knew there was something happening. But I was resistant to surrender to because I didn't really understand. I had a clue, I sort of knew, but yet I still was resistant. And there are many of you out there right now on this that are going through some tough times right now, and I know who you are. Part of it's this. It's the shift. It's the it's it's the awakening. And the more you resist, the harder it is. I'm saying this for me. I found that as soon as I surrendered to, once I understood what it was and I surrendered to, then it became could breathe not in just the normal breathing but it was like I could breathe and let me say that this is a process and so you will go back and forth even though you can sit and say yes I've gone I'm going through it's a process I spent the day yesterday what I had to walk away from everything and just get quiet And it helped. But that's part of the process for me, is that I find that I have to break away from my day to day, the things that I do, which mostly is different day to day. But even still, I have to get away. I'm, I have to say there's been some very, very scary moments. Some label the darkest of the moments, uh, dark shadows of the night, where at night, 
in particular, certain hours, things come at you. And these are where the beginning of letting go begins. Because you're faced with you. And you, you have these choices where you have to make. Letting go. And letting go is the biggest part of this journey. Letting go of things that no longer serve as purpose. Letting go. We can sit and say, I'm going inside and doing the work all day long. But unless you let go of the things you go inside to see, all you're doing is going inside. It's time to let go. How do you let go? See, this gets me. I still have things to let go of. One in particular I'm having a hard time letting go of. But it's all a process. Yeah. There are many out there right now, and there will be some that will listen to this months down the road. But it's still going to have the same energy. There are a lot of people going through emotional roller coasters. And not all of it's this, but there are a lot of folks that are going through an awakening. And this is what you're feeling right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this process of going through this, there is no time. There's no time schedule. There's not like, oh, I did it in two weeks, I did it in three weeks. This is a continual process. I can date back when I first recognized the beginning portion of this as almost five years ago. Not even the beginning, that when it became noticeable to me, I knew I had a change when I had my accident. I knew there was something huge that happened, not just the loss of a body part, but what happened to me spiritually and how I was able to overcome the loss. So, you have to put this in your mind that this is just part of the journey you're on, if this is what you feel you're going through <clears throat> right now. And the more you surrender, I'm going to keep saying this because this is the key word. And lately when I pull cards, it's the surrender card keeps popping up. And I know this is still something that I have got to finish. I have to finish surrendering to this journey. But I'm getting enough confirmation that confirms surrendering is the key. Letting go is the key. Because I am being lined up with things that are happening in my life that, as I keep saying, I'm, I'm completely baffled that they're happening to me. But this is not, this is just the beginning of what's going to happen. I can say this with all, honest, <clears throat> all, with all honesty in my life. And I, it, it is for everyone because I am no different than any of you listening right now. We are all the same. We are all energy. We all come equipped the same way. But it's, are you aware of what you can do? Are you aware of what you're available to be? Are you aware of who you are? We're not just drones. We're not just here just to be. We're here to be more, but not in how we were taught to be more. It's time to surrender to this journey. And it's a beautiful journey. And it's time to step out from your hidey hole. It's time to go out and face the world and be 
part of the world that you have always been intended to be. Now, as I say, we are all the same energy. We all come to, pull, to be a part of this in a different way. But we all are a piece of this big master puzzle. So what are you going to do? Are you going to resist? Are you going to fight? Or are you going to surrender to the journey? I resisted for a while. And I had many, many, many sleepless nights where I thought, again, I, I was losing it. Things were happening to me that... Oh, my dreams were like watching my life. But in the future, and some in the past. But now, even if and when I have sleepless nights, they're different. It's like I'm, I'm being downloaded with information. I'm going places. And this is happening to a lot of you on this journey. So my whole point on this is just to let you know that you're not alone. And this is what's happening. Embrace it. Don't resist it. This is a beautiful journey, and you're here for a reason, far greater reason than what you're living right now. Start today by reaching out to people. Do the simplest of things. When you, if you, you many have already started your day, but those who haven't, look in that mirror when you, when you get ready to leave and tell yourself how beautiful you are, and that you love you and go out now and spread a good word. Be kind to other souls out there. You never know who you might touch, who's hurting right now. So, the ending of another morning vlog. You know where to find me. Facebook, Nicholas Gallardo, Journey of uh, the Power, uh, <laughs> the Twin Flame Journey, Facebook. Instagram, The Power of Love Heals. YouTube, Power of Love Heals. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Get reminders when something's happening. You can find me on uh, my webpage, uh, powerofloveheals.com. If you're interested in talking to me, having a session with me, you can book a session. All right, be well. Be love. Always until next time. Stay awesome.